I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when you see that men and women have grown so far from me, they commit abomination and think there is no harm in the same. I say it is because of hardness of heart. I say you are living in a time when multitudes have hardened their heart against me because of a love of self, because of whoredom and wine, because of idolatry. And I say they are fools before me. For I say they have chosen a way that is wicked and vile, a way that is corrupt, a way that is abomination, perverse on every hand. Then I say they have no conscience, they have no remorse, they have no shame over the same. Now I say this day that I don't have God to see the ugliness that men are in, and yet I say that I offer unto them the call to repent. That is, if they would see the error of their way, turn from the same and return to me. But I say there were multitudes of them who refused the call to repentance. Instead, they wax bolder in their sin. And I say they harden their hearts all the more and go on in the way of their own destruction. Now I say this day that I, the living God, did not intend that men would go in the way of destruction. But I say that I've intended that they would come forth in the way of my life. But I say when men are full of inward wickedness and darkness, refusing to repent, I say they bring sorrows to themselves. And yes, they are taken far from the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I give day by day. And yes, they are taken in a way that will prove to be destruction of soul because they are far from me. Now I say this day that I the living God am giving the call throughout the earth for all men to repent because they are living in corruption, they are living in filth, they are living in vileness day after day. And I say they are living in that which I the living God never intended for men to live in, for I say that it brings damnation unto them. And I say when I the living God do call for them to repent, I say that it is my mercy going forth. And I say it is me, the living God, who does intend that the ones who will serve me and obey me will be guided forth in my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will give to the man, will give to the woman who will serve me the way that is my life, my truth, my mercy. That is, I will cause them to be uplifted and brought forth, guided and directed in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. And I say that I will cause them to be knowing that it is me, the living God, alone of all the gods who is able, if they will but bend the knee to me. That is, I can take away the filthiness, the corruption, the penalty of the sins they are guilty of, if they will but enter into and remain in true repentance before me. For I say it is me, the living God, who does find joy in a man, a woman, who truly repents and turns from the abomination that they are found in. But I say, when men will only harden their hearts, refuse to repent and wax bolder in the corruption that they are in, oh, what fools they are. For I say, while they are so wise in their own conceit, I say they are nothing but fools. And I say, while they are so wise in their own conceit, I say they are far from my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not, absolutely do not intend that men and women and children would be far from my way. But I say that I do intend that they would be uplifted and strengthened, directed and guided, purposed each day by me. For I say it is a good thing, a sweet thing, a blessed thing to be brought forth in that which I give them time and again. For I say it is a good thing when a man is forgiven of his sin and continues in repentance before me. Now I say this day that I the living God do see why it is that men are so far from me. I say it is because they have grown to love themselves more than me. That is, they love to indulge their flesh. They love to indulge their souls in that which will only bring them damnation of the same. And I say because they are blinded by the love of self, drunk on pride and intoxicated as to how great they are. I say they are nothing but utter fools. And I say they go in the way that I, the living God, did not intend for them to go in. And I say that the same is their despair. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never ever intended that my own people would stoop so low that they are found in the abominations of the heathen. Yet I say there are multitudes who audaciously make the claim that they are mine who are committing sins forbidden unto them. That is, they are doing those things that are punishable by death according to my standard, my dictate, and what it is that I ordain. And I say they go on in their own headstrong way, claiming that it is me that they serve. But I say because their minds are twisted, they are dull and dumb, they are sickening unto me in all of their vile behaviors, yet they claim they serve me. 
But I say they are liars and deceivers, for it is not me that they serve at all. For I say they are serving a multitude of idols, they are serving the image of their own selves, and I say they are bowing to the beast that lurks within them. And I say all the while when they make the claim that they love me, that they serve me, I say they are sickening unto me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to serve any other God, any other lover, but I say that I call you to be serving me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that you can indeed be kept in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. And I say that I call you to be thankful that through me so are you directed, corrected, and brought forth. And I say through me you are given the light upon the path, for it is me that have been God who is present to give to you the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do see that my own people, that is, many of the ones who claim they love me, they serve me, and obey me, are liars and deceivers, and I say they are full of sin. And I say they are not serving me at all, but I say they are under the covering of Babylon's Jesus, which allows them to promote their sin, to partake of their sin, and live in their sin. But I say they are fools who are blinded by the God of this world. They are fools who are easily led astray. And I say they are definitely not in my way. Nor are they serving me, obeying me, nor walking uprightly in me. But I say they are gone in a way that is abomination. They are gone in a way that will prove to be devastation. They are gone in a way that I never ordained. And I say in the process they are losing out with me because they have chosen another God. I say this day do not choose any other God, any other master, but I say be choosing me. And I say be thankful that it is me that you can look to, believe in, and trust, for I am indeed well able. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving the call, continuing to call for all men everywhere to repent. For I say that I, the living God, am kindled in my wrath, my fury, my indignation, when men will refuse to obey me. That is, when they will stubbornly, proudly resist the call to repentance, when they are the ones who are headed to hell through their sin, and yet they scoff and mock my call unto them. I say they are so full of demons, so full of pride and contempt for me, yet I say they are destroying themselves. And I say they are so proud of their arrogance, they are so proud of their filthiness, they are so proud of their abomination, and I say what fools they are. For I say, when they stand before me and they find themselves condemned to hell forever, I say, there will be no forgiveness for them. For I say, when men will choose the place of their torment, the place of their agony, the place of their despair above me, I say, they are choosing to be damned through it all. But I say, when a man will be choosing to walk uprightly in me, then I say that he's choosing the way of my life. I say, this day that I, the living God, do not, absolutely do not intend that my own people would go in the way of the damned, would live in the way of sinners, and show themselves to be utter fools. But I say that I intend that my people would be made wise by adhering unto me and walking in my way. For I say, when any man or woman will cleave to me, believe upon me, and adhere to me, then of course they are guided forth by me. And yes, they are given the strength to continue the blessedness, the purpose that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is able, therefore I say, continue to bend the knee, continue to repent unto me, and walk humbly before me. For I say, it is only through me, the living God, that you are kept, that you are guided and directed each day. For I say, you are not meant to come under the authority of carnal men and make the same your covering, but I say, you are meant to be covered by me. For I say, if it is me, the living God, who does cover thee, then I say, you are covered in mercy and light. But I say, if you are covered by the filthy, the vile, the corrupt men who are in power in these times, I say you are covered by the same damnation that they are in. And I say you are covered in their filthiness, their perversion and uncleanness, and yes, that is where they dwell. For I say, when men will brag and boast, yet I say they are full of the corruption of evil, I say they are liars and deceivers, causing souls to be beguiled in the same. That is, they are deceiving men and women and taking them even farther from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to live in the debauchery, the defilement, the filthiness of the heathen, but I say that I call you to come forth in the way of the upright that I provide. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, 
and the way that his mercy provided. And I say, if it is me that you will be looking unto in faith and trust and confidence, then you are guided forth by me. But I say, if you have turned to the God of self, if you have taken up the rulership of demons and evil men over your life, I say, you have taken the course of damnation. And I say that unless you repent, you will be damned. I say this day when a man is truly repentant, and I say that he walks humbly before me, <clears throat> then I say that he's bound acceptable unto me. But I say when a man will only wax bolder in his iniquity, his corruption, his vileness, no such a man is a fool before me. For I say that he's choosing a course that will bring him deep despair, because he is far from the way of life that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do give to the ones who will obey me the way wherein they can be kept day by day. That is the way that is my truth, my light, my mercy revealed to those who walk uprightly in me. But I say to the ones who harden their hearts through pride, stiffen the neck, and increase their abominations, I say they increase the sentence of their own damnation upon themselves. And I say that their torments in hell forever will far exceed what it is that they think they can do against me. For I say, when I, the living God, do return to a man what it is that he done towards me, I say that it is multiplied. And I say that his sorrows are only increased because he has followed other gods. And I say, when you see the self-conceited fools who think they remain, know they are deceiving themselves. For I say, when men and women are living in sin, they are living in liability before me. I say, this day be thankful that you do not need to be in sin, but you can indeed come forth forgiven and walking uprightly in me. That is, if you will continue to repent, to bend the knee and bow down low, then I say you are uplifted, directed, and guided in my way. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I, the living God, will give thee time and again. And yes, you are brought forth, make glad that it is me you can look to and believe. Therefore, I say this day, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, be glad to receive of me. For I say it is through me that you are given the truth and the light day by day. And I say it is unto me that you are meant to bend the knee every single day. That is, by continuing in repentance, the humility way of truth and light that I provide. I say, be thankful to be guided, directed, and corrected each day by me, the one true God who is able to bring you forth. I say, give thanks, give praise.